Hey everyone, welcome back to another week of Fallout 4 Mods. Hope everyone had a great week. This week we've got some fantastic weapons, so let's take a look at them. Push Dagger by Deadpool 2099. We start off with a one-handed weapon akin to brass knuckles. The push dagger is a tiny dagger that wraps nicely around your fist and with each punch deals extra damage. There are two upgrades, Sharpen and Damascus, that increase damage and cause bleeding. Impaled Teddy Bear Mod by Gogar. This lovely mod can be built on your power fist now, granting you 50 armor damage, piercing, and a beautiful way to show it. Come on, Teddy, it's time to dance. Reanimator by Yggdrasil7. This brings a device that can heal and bring back from the beyond companions and NPCs. The reanimator works on creatures that are alive, along with repairing mechanized life like vertebrates, robots, and turrets. Like there are three options you can choose from, standard healing, gamma, and zeta, which all do the same thing, but just a different color. Photonic Plasma Cannon by Phoenix. This is a crazy looking weapon that definitely lives up to its name. You can choose to fire bolts or lightning strikes depending on what mods you add. There are nine capacitors, three barrels, three sights, and three muzzles. Watts Laser Gun by Deadpool 2099, Haru, and Friends. One of my favorite classic Fallout weapons, the Watts laser has custom animations, new sound effects, and a beautiful mesh and texture to go along with it. Plus, you can paint it. There are 10 capacitors, 8 barrels, 7 stocks, 15 scopes, 7 camo paints, and an option for auto or semi-auto fire. The animations for this are really great looking, and the amount of ways you can shape this gun into whatever you want is also just really cool. R91 Fallout 3 Assault Rifle by Tainted. Following up a Fallout 2 weapon, a Fallout 3 weapon only made sense. The R91 is a beautiful weapon, and this rendition really brings the feel of it to the Commonwealth. You get 15 receivers, 2 barrels, an option for a stock or no stock, 6 magazines, 4 scopes, compensator, muzzle brake, and suppressor. The wood finish looks fantastic, and I was also getting an Escape from New York vibe from it as well. Accelerator Plasma Energy Weapon by Quad Rioters. The Accelerator was an advanced plasma weapon designed to be a cutting edge personal defense weapon. With highly customizable modules that allow you to change to weapons like a bolter, shotgun, SMG, rifle, or a launcher. Included are four capacitors, eight barrels, eight grips, seven scopes, seven colors, and an option to track targets or not. Very refreshing to see an original design for weapons, so I really enjoy this. Crater Safe House Player Home by Nare. A secluded home north of Sanctuary, this crater house has got style and safety. There's no workbench though, so no ability to edit the actual house, but that's okay. Kind of. If, um, unless you want to edit it, then you fuck. There are also entrances from other locations like Far Harbor, but they won't become unlocked until you've been there and found the other entrances that get to the crater home. Altogether, you've got the house with that beautiful window next to the Brahmin area. This is where I like to talk to the Brahmins and tell them they're beautiful. You're all beautiful Brahmins, I love you. Next is a shed with a power armor workstation and a doghouse. Further back, we have a little pool slash waterfall thing going on. And there's a wooden path that will take you deep into the recesses of a cave where a really lovely relaxation area is. Plus, you can pick the little plants and stuff. What's this? Oh boy, I'm picking it. Back to the house, there's no separate interior cell. It's all just part of the area, so no loading screens, which is great. Indoor clutter is beautiful. I especially like where they've placed the radio with the TV set. Looks very authentic, since I'm pretty sure old TVs had radios in them. Pretty sure I've seen that somewhere before. The bedroom's nice, but it's much more obvious that this entire house is held up by tires, because there's a you got a giant tire wall just in your, <laughs> in your house. The other thing was the creepy mannequins. I think if they were on the floor somewhere, it wouldn't be as bad, but, uh, I don't know, them being on that dresser just, they're staring down on you, and I don't like it. But besides that, very nice house, good stuff. Intrex Core Glow Markers by Mfree802086. Made at a chemistry bench, these glow markers are thrown like grenades. Glow markers last up to 10 hours, can be detected in vats, and can be carried after they've been dropped. And by carried, I mean you pick them up, and you don't put them in your pants, you gotta carry them around with your hands, and you can throw them. 
Very nice addition and useful for those who enjoy the dark, but need some help seeing in it. Knockout Framework by Seb263 Killing enemies is no longer the only option, now you can knock out NPCs with unarmed attacks and pistol whips. Once an NPC is knocked out, you can wake them up, scavenge, or capture them. You can carry one body at a time, and when you want to drop them, go to your apparel, and there you go. Just click on them, or drop them, and they'll be free in the world. I mean, they'll wake up, and then you can knock them out. I was carrying you in my pocket, now you're on the ground. Dog Meat Helmets and Hats by Nader. 20 hats, 10 helmets, 2 glasses, 2 goggles, and 1 dog. What more could you want? More pictures of dog meat with hats on? Okay, we can do that. We are mod of the week. Boris the Beautiful, a professional alien retexture by Sargevark. Now this is some makeup that we can all appreciate. Boris the Beautiful will make every alien in your game absolutely stunning. I don't know what's going on. He has hair on his head now. He's wearing jeans though. Those are some nice jeans. And then boots? Mm. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this week's Fallout 4 mods. Hope you enjoyed. As always, if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments and I'll check them out. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the future. Away!